All right, welcome to the video on how to make an email signature in Apple Mail. So one would think it would be very easy, but unfortunately one thing that Apple Mail doesn't come with is an easy way to add formatting to your signature. So to start, you want to create what you want your signature to look like in another program. I've chosen Pages. You could do it in Word. If you use something like Illustrator or InDesign, you can do it in a Google Doc. Anywhere that you'd write any text, uh, you can just plug in your information there. So I formatted this for Danielle um, using you know, the light gray color that she uses, have all of the information, and just did some really light styling on it. A lot of times people go all out with email signatures. I don't think it's necessary. People are generally looking at them to get the information that they need. Um, if they're receiving an email from you, they're probably already interested in your services. So you don't really need to be selling yourself here, just making sure that you're, you're giving the information that you'd want people to have. So what we do after we have our email signature the way we want it to look in another program, I'm just gonna highlight the whole thing and copy it. So Command C, Control Z, or just right click and hit copy. Then you're going to go over to your Apple Mail. I have someone else's account in here just now. Um, but basically you bring it up to your home screen. And then you're going to go into Mail, Preferences. And in here, yours would probably land on General. You want to just go over to Signatures. You'll see I have a bunch of different signatures and a bunch of email accounts in here. Um, but we're going to be creating a new signature. So in your screen you might have all signatures and then you're going to have one or two of these boxes. If it says your email address here, just click on that one. And once you're in there, you'll see I've already created this one just to test it out. So you'll be in here and you just click on this plus button and that's you're creating a new signature. So default is signature 5, we're just going to call it Daniel Turk email signature. You just call yours uh, business signature, or whatever is an identifying word for you. And it automatically puts in whatever your signature was for your default mail client. So you just want to delete what's ever there, and then you can paste in what we just created over in Pages or Word or wherever you created it. So you can do right click, paste, or Command V. So it puts it in, it keeps the gray color and our font choices, uh, it erased the space we had in between these lines, so we're just going to click at the end of this line, press enter so we get that, that space to break up the two titles. And one nice thing about Apple Mail is you don't ever have to worry about hitting save or update, everything you do just saves constantly. So once we've done that, we definitely have it saved and it's located inside mine is Gmail that's my default mail client that I originally set up my Apple Mail with so whatever yours is here it might be uh, live uh, Rogers whatever your default email is so once we've done that just to show an example of what it would look like to send an email so we can exit of that screen and if I write a new message you'll see on this bottom line here is where you're going to be concerned with so if you have a couple of different emails that you can send from, uh, for example, you might have your default at rogers.com, but then you have a business account that's at danielhealth.com. So you would select from the pull-down menu which email you're going to be sending from. And then on this side, you'll see signature options. So you can have a signature for just yourself, or you can have your business signature. So this is the one we've just created, Daniel Turk email signature. And as soon as we click that, you'll see it pops up on the bottom, and then you just begin writing your text. And you'll see it just stays there on the bottom. You can edit it uh, if you wanted to, but the, the whole point is that it just comes up automatically. And you can set standard settings, um, but I know for Danielle especially, she just wanted to be able to stick the email signature on email she was going to be sending out to clients. And once you're finished, you know, just send your email how you normally would.